Welcome back. Still breathing? <laughs> yes, of course, yeah. We're going to continue with the breathing for a couple more installments here. What I'd like to show you now is how you can build personal power. It's what we call the star exercise. Where you stand, legs apart, arms straight out, kind of like a star. Right hand towards the earth, left hand towards the heavens. And you breathe in. You breathe in in counts of 12, multiples of 12. You can do 12 breaths and hold or 24, 36, so on and so forth. Holding your hands that way. Picturing building power within your chest, within your heart. Picture that fire, that ethereal power building with each breath. So try with me, we'll just do 12. You're gonna take 11 breaths and on the 12th one you'll hold. So here we go. Building power. Building power. You can hold it for as long as you can, or for as long as you want. Multiples of 12. When you hold the breath though, you can actually use your left hand, which is usually receiving from the heavens, right hand generally, uh, or is usually transmitting. The right hand is usually receiving, left hand is usually transmitting. So when you hold your breath, you can use that left hand to transmit your power, the power that you built. Well, you won't be letting go of all of it, but a good portion of it. And you can use it to heal yourself, heal any afflicted part, heal someone else. You can use it. I've used it to calm down animals, like a dog that's barking incessantly in the night, keeping me awake. Use this trick to calm them. I've used it to calm birds down that were going to fly away and I wanted them to stay. Uh, I've used it to calm people down. I used to call myself that. And mostly it's power to be given. Not to be used selfishly, of course. The best power is that that you give away. But you can do that anytime, anywhere. It works really well in a group of people where you hold your hands together. As a matter of fact, the more people you get together, the better it works. But you can do it yourself. And it's best to be doing it barefoot on the earth, somewhere in nature, and you can do it for as long as you want. As many multiples as 12 as you want to, 144. <laughs> Normally I will only do it, you know, 12, 24, 36 times, something like that. And uh, if you go past a multiple of 12, just continue to the next level and make sure and stop Hold your breath right before, right? <laughs> so you hold your breath on that multiple of 12. And then you can use the power that's coming out of your hand chakra for whatever you want. You can use it for your health. You can use it to heal the earth. I used to do this all the time every day. And I haven't done it for a long time, and this is why I wanted to share with you in hopes that I start doing it again myself. But people have always asked me, how do you build personal power and this is a very easy way through breathing through visualizing gathering power from the earth the infinite power of the earth and uh, 
pulling it into yourself, strengthening yourself, your heart, your soul, and then transmitting it out to the earth. It's kind of like doing the same thing with Tai Chi, where you lift the earth energy up and then spread it out. I used to do that one all the time. It was a move I actually made up. Because you can make up your own Tai Chi or your own Tai Chi moves if you want to. Back when I used to do Tai Chi, I, the flow of energy, you could actually just sit there and repeat that one over and over. All about breathing. Yep. Something we take for granted. And so, this practice comes from a book called John, uh, written by John Peniel. The book is called Children of the Law of the One. Not to be confused with Law of the One. Children of the Law of the One, you can look it up, read it online. Multiple excellent exercises in it. This is one of my favorites. Star exercise. Try it today. And also, uh, another good one that came from there, multiple meditation techniques. And one of them called counting breath. So in counting breath, you just, just exactly what it says, right? Breathe in, one, out, one. Breathe in, two, out, two. Breathe in, three, out, three. And you do as many sets of 10 as you've got time for. And you can also hold your breath on the intake and on the outtake. Do whatever you want. Just continue to do it. And not only is it going to help you by, you know, breathing and getting more oxygen, but it also calms your mind. And there's another little trick you can do, which they call conscious breath. And that's where you literally just observe yourself breathing. Focus your attention on your navel and just watch yourself breathe until the subconscious mind takes over. And as you observe yourself breathing, your conscious mind will be watching your subconscious and therefore they'll be interacting together and lessening the barrier between the two it will give you much more personal power. So another excellent practice to try and get better at. Once again, it works best barefoot in nature, but can be done anywhere. Can be done where, while you're working. And then uh, you can also do a meditation walk while you're breathing, where you can breathe in for three steps and breathe out for three steps, or breathe in for five steps and out for five steps. And concentrate on that and you'll let all that inner dialogue go. And this is what basically meditation is, is trying to quiet the inner mind in what they call entering the silence. And so, some very good ones for you to try.